Hey guys, I thought I would um, share with you another recipe today. Um, it's a little bit different from the rest of the recipes that I've done in the past. Um, this is the first time I'm actually using um, the meatless stuff. Um, in this case, I'm using meatless grounds. I'm not like for like endorsing any particular product, but you see it's meatless grounds. It's all plant-based, which I know is something that most people are not really um, fans of. But over the course of doing this particular um, uh, program of mine, I've actually found that there are some which are really good. Um, the Impossible Meats, buying them preset like in the burger shapes, not just the big chunk of meat, um, are pretty good. The, the, the Beyond ones, the corn ones, all these different, like kind of impossible, you know, incognito, whatever you want to call them, but the plant-based meats are actually pretty good. Um, I've made them into burgers, so it's not just using ground turkey and ground beef, which is better. Today I'm actually making a meatless sloppy joe. So I said that's why I'm using the uh, the ground meats and now the difference with these is you can get this stuff fresh or frozen I chose the frozen one so they have to be kind of be cooked separate from everything else so um, I've got this cooking right now the other thing you need for this obviously as you do with everything is tomato paste um, and I forgot everything else hang on sorry about that um, you need a little bit of honey and some garlic powder. Now you can, if you're a garlic aficionado like me, this is what the basic recipe calls for. I add a little bit of minced garlic because again, I think you guys know by now I'm a huge garlic fan. I love garlic. The other thing that you're supposed to have with this is some sort of vegetable side. Um, a green one at that. I particularly have chosen asparagus, which I am um, currently steaming. I don't know if you can see that. Steaming. Um, oops. Sorry. Kind of cut the head off there. There we go. So it's really simple. You take the meat out, which I will do in a second. You add your tomato paste, your honey, and your garlic powder, and you mix it all up. Now you can put it on a bun. I'm trying to watch my carbs. You know this. Um, and I was kind of bad this morning. Um, I had I shouldn't say I was bad because it's something that I had my bread carbs this morning and I had myself an English muffin with the egg and the spinach on it. So that was my large amount of, you know, bread type carbs and starches type carbs for the day. So I'm not going to put this on a bun. I'm just going to serve it on a plate. So I'm going to pause the video right here so that I can kind of when the meat still has three minutes left to cook because I'm doing it in the microwave because it was frozen. And then we'll take it from there. You could also do it with ground turkey or ground chicken and just brown it on the stove. I chose this, so hang on. Okay, as I'm finishing up the meat because it's only got a few seconds left, I steam my asparagus. And instead of putting like butter or something like that, I always tend to put like a little bit of garlic powder onto my asparagus up oh, and there's the meat done so just put a little garlic powder on that but this is mainly for the meat itself I just like to put it on my asparagus too so hang on let's put the meat down and we'll keep going okay so first I want to show you looks like regular ground beef right I mean okay so what you do is you add garlic powder to taste And you add a can of tomato paste. Oops, I did grab the right spoon. Okay. And you then add just a teaspoon of honey. Now, um, oops, that's the there it is. Um, the teaspoon is if you're making a small batch of about six ounces. I'm actually making a double batch, so I'm going to use a tablespoon. However, you normally only use a teaspoon of honey. 
and it gives it a bit of a sweetness flavor to it. Let me, uh, very hard to squeeze my honey out. I think I have to get new honey. So hang on. Okay, I've been squeezing at this thing for a bit, so obviously I'm having some difficulty with it. So I'm going to have to scoop it out. And I think it's just because it's starting to get old, so I'm going to get myself some new honey. Anyway, so, and then, oops. Okay, put that over here. And as you can kind of see, you know, and you just kind of mix it all up together. And the other thing that I have found sometimes is because the paste is so liquidy, I mean, so not liquidy, very um, kind of like sticky like that, you can actually add a little bit of like marinara sauce to kind of give it the more sloppy part to it that we're used to. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add some more, I'm going to add some marinara sauce to this because I don't want to add water to it because that's just disgusting. Um, but then that's pretty much it. So here's the picture of what my meal looked like when it was done. Um, I did that purposely because I don't want to make this video too long. And I want to say thanks again for watching. I'll put all the information in the, the video. Thanks, guys.